Fong's Chinese Restaurant, Kenner, Louisiana. Fong's Restaurant is located on Williams Boulevard in Kenner. 2101. 2101 Williams Boulevard in Kenner. Between Interstate 10 and Highway 61 Airline Highway. And Ms. Fong, what year was Fong's Restaurant open? June of 1977. So it's been open 34, 34 years. 34 years on Louisiana Highway 49, Williams Boulevard in Kenner, Louisiana. And uh, hello, viewers. I went to uh, many Chinese restaurants in my life, and I had a friend, Tom Jones, kept telling me that he went to Fong's. Oh, oh wait, he's bringing that. <laughs> and uh, he told me about the uh, food and the egg rolls, and he always bragged on it. And I, I thought, uh, well, it's just ordinary Chinese food. But I tried it two years ago, and I was blown away by the fantastic food at Fong's. And I'm gonna make a close-up here. I'm gonna come into the food a little bit. And what we have here is wonton soup with with uh, noodles. And what makes Fong's and Kenner special uh, compared to other Chinese restaurants? I know the prices are very competitive. We are the best. We uh, buy everything fresh. Okay. And everything we got is very fresh. So that's what makes the soup, the wonton soup so good, the fried noodles so good, and, and, and the whole bowl of and oh, I and everything we we say is a really fresh. And a lot of Chinese restaurants use uh, egg rolls that are frozen or pre-packaged, and this is not the case with Fong's. No, we made everything in fresh. And the egg rolls are made fresh every day. Every day. Well, that's really something because I don't think you see that too much anymore. And I can certainly attest that the egg rolls are outstanding at Fong's. And let me see what this soup is like here today. Okay, you come try. Let me see if it. Here's a lunch menu for Fong's. Yeah. Very good prices. You should come here and get a lunch special or. Lunch 11 to 4. 11 to 4. Also, Fong's has uh, takeout orders naturally. Yeah, takeout orders. And it's open. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. Many Chinese restaurants are closed on Sundays. And are there any days in the year where Fong's is closed? Only day we close at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Two days a year. So open 363 days a year. Yeah. A little water. Let's see about this one time soup here. Last time I had it, it was fabulous. Mm. Fresh spinach. Bok choy. Bok choy. Bok choy bean. Bok choy. What is bok choy? Bok choy is Chinese vegetable. Chinese vegetable. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was spinach. What is it? Bok choy. Bok choy tastes good. Yeah, everybody loves that. Everybody wants one time soup. Ask the bok choy. Ask for bok choy. Well, this is the only restaurant in the city of New Orleans where I've uh, a bok toy had the bok toy in it. And uh, wonton noodles. Do you, all, do you also have the war wonton soup? Yeah. Or just war wonton, you just put some fried wonton yeah. in there. Yeah. Like yeah. Wonton yeah. soup and put some fried wonton yeah. in the bowl. Oh, okay. the bowl. Yeah. 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 And yeah. call it war wonton. Mm -hmm. Now, Mrs. Fong, you're originally from China. Canton, China. Canton, China. Yeah, I've been in 19... I've been here in 1947, right after the war. You came here in 1947? Yeah. Right before the communists took over? Yeah, the communists take over in 1949. Well, we know what happened then. Uh, and have you enjoyed being in the United States for 64 years? Yeah. Or do you miss China? I've never been back. Never been back. All my children born here. 
you ever had any desire to go back to China to visit? I don't know anybody. Because the most of the people I know, they're all in San Francisco. They came to the United States, same time I come. But they stay, they live in San Francisco. San Francisco. And I come here. I come straight to New Orleans. Straight to New Orleans. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're happy to be here. You want to go get the gold beef? What kind of rice you want? You don't have Some fried rice. Oh, uh, pork fried rice. And pork fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice. We got a entree coming up. Oh. Yeah, how you doing? Fabulous. If you ever come to New Orleans or if you live in New Orleans and you want to try the best long time soup, I think you'll ever have. This is it. Just terrific. I can't only do anything but brag. Now, did your family? Was your family involved in Chinese restaurants before this restaurant opened? Yeah, my grandfather used at the Song Chinese restaurant with his cousin on Sick uh, Night Decatur. Your they grandfather? Opened, opened 24 hours. Fong's on 609 Decatur? Yeah. In New Orleans, in the French Quarter. In Decatur, yeah. Fong, and it was called Fong's. Yeah, they opened 24 hours. And what? Then that landlord sold the building, so they, yeah. I guess, it, so they, they moved out. What, do you know what year that was? Uh, I think in 19, I think around 1950. 1950? Yeah, they moved out then. Right. And then your family was not involved? Uh, no, my, I used to go there and watch them cook. So then when I opened here, and then you were at, your family was out of the business, Chinese restaurant business, then you opened this and said, My dad had a laundry business. Your father had a laundry business. Yeah, right there. 1134 Condolet Street, where Harry Lee was. 1134 Condolet Street? Yeah. Where Sheriff Harry Lee was born? Yeah. All his brothers and sisters were born in that laundry, the back of the laundry. So you knew you knew Harry Lee? Yeah, I know him real well. Knew him real well, huh? Um, we used to go to the same church. Same church? Um, Chinese Presbyterian? Yeah, church. I used to eat at a house that Lee where Harry Lee owned that house. Of the lunch you have in okay. okay. Right. All right. Egg Here's the Fong's world famous egg rolls you say made fresh every day. Made fresh every day. We don't make too much. We use it, then we make it. Okay. Well, In the country of China, the food is a little different than the Chinese food in America, or is some Yeah, most of the food there is a little different. Everything they cook, they don't put gravy. We always have bowl of soup and the food we eat. So if they have chicken, it's just dry, no gravy. Well, they cook it same way like we cook, but just in the United States. But not too, not too much gravy, kind of dry. And the soup is to give it some moisture. Yeah. Always have soup. Always have soup in China. Yeah. And do they usually have hot tea when they eat? Or is that uh, just parts of China? Hot tea or, yeah, sometimes hot tea or a bowl of water. Bowl of water. Uh, yeah, we, we drink a lot of hot tea in China. A lot of hot tea in China. Yeah. Try the hot tea is supposed to cut the grease. You know, anything you eat, they help you digest the food. Oh, the tea helps you digest the food? Yeah. So your family was, were Chinese Christians? Yeah, we, uh, when I came over here, I baptized at the Chinese Presbyterian Church. Okay, now here's the entree before we close the video. It's a gongbo beef. Gongbo beef.
Pork fried rice. Pork fried rice. Boy, it looks fantastic. I'll never be able to eat all this today. I'm going to have to take some of it home, I'm sure. And uh, one last thing. This is off the subject a little bit. But China, that's how people in, in English say China. They say China. But in, in the Chinese language, the country is pronounced Zhong Guo. Zhong Guo. Zhong Guo. Zhong Guo. Zhong Guo, yeah. And I, you know, in fact, in China, we had, I, my family cooked some mandarin chicken with the gravy. Oh, in China? Uh -huh. Mandarin chicken? Yeah. With gravy. With gravy. You know, like, same thing I'm sorry right now. Mandarin chicken. Same thing. Your family cooked that back in China? Yeah. And you were about 10 years old when you left China? Yeah, I left China when I was 12. Oh, 12, okay. Well, okay. During Chinese New Year, we, we cook a lot. Big festival for the yeah. Chinese New Year. Uh -huh. And do they drink a lot of beer in China? Well, some people drink, some people don't. <laughs> so yeah. like over here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well. Some people, they only drink on the holiday, just uh, like United States. But they have a long New Year's holiday. Yeah, so, you know, even in here, in Houston, San Francisco, uh, they say Chinese New Year, they celebrate for more than a month. Every Sunday, they had a party. For a month. Different family. They invite all the family. My husband used to be a, um, a, he's a president of his family associate in Houston. His, his, name, his last name is Jew. So, they, so he represent the family. So we had a Chinese New Year party. I used to fly to Houston. Two cases shut there. Any money? Well, I'm going to end this review by saying uh, I appreciate all you've done. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans, to Kenner, Louisiana, and go to Farms. Yeah, that's Mandarin chicken. That's for sure.